In this question, we're trying to solve for this mystery angle. Now, we're only given one side, and we have an initial height of 2 meters here. We don't have enough information to use our Sokotoa triangles. So we actually have to use our ruler. Now, this ruler may be different than yours, but I think the principle should apply. So what we have here is we have uh, this here is drawn to scale, but clearly this is not two meters. This is your exam paper. So this here, we have to figure out what it, what exactly this diagram represents. We use your ruler starting from the base. We know this is two meters. So if I align the zero here, I have 1.2 uh, centimeters or 12 millimeters. So the ratio we set up here is going to be two meters over 12 millimeters equals and what I'm interested in is the actual height of this triangle so I'm going to take this ruler I'm going to shift it up here so that now we're interested in this height approximately 7.5 centimeters or 75 millimeters so what we have now is we're interested in solving how many actual meters this height is of this right angle triangle. So it's going to be x meters, that's what we're trying to solve, over 75 millimeters. Because from here to here, this is 75 millimeters. And because we know that we have a ratio here, we should be able to solve for x. So using our nice calculator, we multiply 2 times 75, 2 times 75, I'm doing cross multiplication, equals 150, and then I'm going to divide by 12 because I'm multiplying this way. Divide by 12, this here is solving for x, so x here is 12.5. So x equals approximately 12.5 meters. So using our ruler, we're able to estimate the actual height because we know the ratios. So this here is now 12.5 meters and now we have enough information on this right triangle to use our basic Sokotoa tri uh, trig ratios to solve for this angle. So we have Sokotoa. So here is the theta that we're trying to solve for and we have the opposite and adjacent opposite adjacent that's tan we know that tan theta equals opposite over adjacent which happens to be 12.5 that's the opposite over adjacent 17 so if we're trying to solve for theta you take the inverse tan of both sides so the tan inverse the tan inverse of tan theta is equal to the tan inverse of 12.5 over 17 and that's going to give us the answer since the inverse trig function cancels with the regular trig function so we solve for theta so the inverse tan of 12.5 divided by 17 is equals to approximately 36 degrees so we have theta is approximately equal to 36 degrees and the only answer close to that is B and the reason why we're off by a degree is because we are simply estimating the ratio based on using this ruler we're just estimating it so this is pretty darn close so the answer is B